welcome to another episode of Around the World in San Francisco. Here with your CEO, Michael Nictaris of Aquarius 3E LLC. First thing I need to mention is that as a genuine artist, what I'm doing goes far beyond even the great artists of history. And that's because instead of reflecting society, which is falling a mile a minute, I'm actually using my heart to purify and inspire the world. Can the two really be compared then, artists and artists? I don't think they can. They're on two different levels. So that's not to say that I don't respect Lennon and the Beatles and Dylan and all of them. They came before and paved the way. But what I'm doing is far more significant and far more powerful. Just to make it clear, artists, as you all know, are people who paint and draw and write and act and make movies, etc. A hardest heart contains the word artist inside of it, but it is a person who uses their heart to do things. It's on a higher plane, it's on a higher level. So that's why I want to make it clear what I'm doing is different from anyone else in society. Now, as you can see here, I'm going around the world in San Francisco, I'm going down 2nd Street right now. If you notice, things have changed a little bit from my previous episodes because now I put the GoPro on my helmet. I think it's pretty interesting because you can see a lot more things going on and it's definitely inspiring to see the sun shining and all the beautiful buildings and just going through the city. I think it's really, really cool. And you see my head turning there. Isn't that cool? So this is a little bit different and that's because this is a process and I'm always improving. I'm always trying to get better. Now. Something I want to talk about is this situation with the CCP virus and um, it being from a lab in China. We all know what lab I'm talking about. I don't know how much I can say without YouTube banning me or demonetizing me, but I don't care. I want to make it clear that science is not what it used to be okay science used to be steeped in moral values and tradition it is not like that any longer why do i say that well look at this for example president trump stopped funding of the wuhan virus lab last year and 81 Nobel laureates in science denounced this, the decision in an open letter to Trump health officials. 60 Minutes also ran a segment focused on the Trump's, Trump administration's short-sighted politicization of science. This is from at J. Michael Waller on Twitter. This is a tweet that I read this morning. So... What I say is science that isn't steeped in moral values is not science at all. It's a religion and a demonic religion at that. You know what Sir Isaac Newton said? He said, I believe the more I study science, the more I believe in God. Even Albert Einstein in his later years stated, at the end of the universe lies the hand of God. So how far away is this from modern science? It's light years away. The myth of evolution, along with studies that only seek profit and advancing the comforts of life, have taken people further and further away from the divine. None of the things going on in the world are by chance or coincidence. Problems will continue to arise and at an accelerated level until human beings raise their moral standards. That's what I have to say about this issue. Now, moving on. As we can see here, I am riding my bicycle. It looks like I'm here on the sidewalk, you know, so be careful kids, don't try this at home. I'm very careful, I'm a professional in doing this. I've gone more than 20,000 miles on my bicycle, going up Kearney Street right now. 
I also want to tell everybody that I recorded a cover of a song today, Lord Huron's The Night We Met. It's a very beautiful and majestic song. I was listening to it last night on the summer solstice, June 21st, 2021, 6 21, 21. I was listening to it in San Francisco Chinatown and I took a couple photos of the Red Lanterns in Chinatown. So after listening to it, I just uh, got up this morning and I practiced it for 15 minutes or so and then I decided to record it because the inspiration was there and I wanted to let it out. And the lyrics are beautiful. I am not the only traveler who is not repaid his debt. I've been searching for a trail to follow again. Take me back to the night we met. All right, that's enough because you can hear the rest of the song if you just go to my page, Aquarius 3E, and you can see the song there. Michael Nectaris, The Night We Met, Lord Her on Cover. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is the CCP. The CCP is beyond evil. Look at this new thing that came up. This is according to PatriotPost.us. And this is not satire, folks. China wants Nobel Prize for Wuhan lab. Think about that. The Wuhan lab, where the virus came from, and they want a Nobel Prize for it. So this is what I have to say about that. The CCP doesn't just want to beat you. They want to destroy you and humiliate you in the process. They want you to pay them while they sleep with your wife and you film it. Then they want to show the world the film and they want you to thank them for it. They're not just bad, they're evil. But in a world of moral relativism where good and bad is decided on how people feel on a certain day, what actually happens is that good and evil are reversed. Good becomes evil and evil becomes good. So the CCP is controlling a lot of things in the world. You may not know it or think it to be that way, but it really is like that. I studied history. I know evil regimes throughout history and these guys take the cake, the top prize. When it's all said and done, they'll make Hitler look like a Boy Scout. And I really stand by that. What the CCP is doing is basically, they're embarrassing the world. And they're doing that by controlling almost every facet of American society, from sports, to media, to our politicians. You may not think the CCP is in on it, but trust me, they are. Now. Look at this. Look at how fast I'm going on my bicycle here. This really, really fast. I mean, gosh, maybe 25 miles an hour. It looks like I'm going faster than cars. Okay. Anyway, let's get back to another issue. Um, there's this uh, Senator Whitehouse is a Democrat from Rhode Island. Apparently, he belongs to a very exclusive all white country club in Rhode Island and he was confronted about it? I mean, firstly, it's like, this is the year 2021, an all white country club? Are you kidding me? Now, if he was a Democrat, you Lib Nation would be freaking out right now. But it's, but, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. If it was a Republican, you Lib Nation would be freaking out right now, but it's a Democrat and you stay silent. And why is that? And also, isn't Rhode Island where Joe Biden is from? Shouldn't he speak out about that? And then why is there an all white country club in the year 2021? I mean, if you were black or a color, a person of color, would you even want to hang out with those scum if they let you in? I know I wouldn't. So that is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. To sum things up today, I just want to say I'm very grateful to my wife who helped me find the cord to hook up my GoPro to my laptop so I could film this. The GoPro is the new Pro Pro. I'm going to continue doing this, putting it on my helmet 
and filming these episodes around the world in San Francisco. We'll see how far we can take this. I know my vibe and my energy is going really well because whenever I'm out in the city, people feel my vibes, they love me, they subscribe to my page, and you should too. Share this with your friends and family. Give it a listen, give it a watch. If you're on a walk or something, you don't even need to watch the video. You could be going around the world wherever you are and listening to what I'm talking about. All right, you all, love you very, very much. Keep on spreading the word, having truth, compassion, and forbearance in your mind and soul and every which way. Let the sun shine down on you. Smile, be grateful for all of the wonderful things that you have in the world. And let's keep taking this country back, building it up, coming together, and making this a united country and a better world for all people. Thank you very much. Have a great day.